What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, the new season of Ranked has started, and we're starting off in Great Ball Tier, which, honestly, the reason I'm starting off in Great Ball Tier is because I didn't play too much last season. Uh, however, that's literally just because I'm like, I didn't add too much new last season. It was the new starters and stuff, but um, as soon as they dropped that DLC, I was like, okay, you know what? I, I am more excited about playing best of threes at these new mons than I am with the old mons. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to be starting off not in Master Ball, tier but uh we'll be working our way towards that tier with a pretty cool team now that team is one sent to me by my buddy patrick on twitter uh, i actually faced him in a best of three uh for series five the other day and uh i didn't end up recording because it was a bit late and i was kind of tired so we're gonna be using his team he actually sent me some details about this team that are pretty cool it's a gmax intellion and gmax rillaboom team uh, and they actually have some pretty great synergy he sent me a couple of calcs and the pokey paste, so both of those will be linked in the description down below, the pokey paste as well as the rental code. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Now he let me know that Rillaboom has a 56.3% chance to one-shot Gigantamax Lapras uh, without it uh, having screens up, which is pretty cool. If I face a Gigantamax Lapras team, I know I'm probably going to be packing like uh, Rillaboom, or probably like Rillaboom, Gastrodon, Tyranitar, and I think either Arcanine or Indeedee. Arcanine's pretty good though, because it has Snarl. Alright, so, ooh, we're facing Urshifu Rain. Alright, let me think. I'm assuming you can't tell by the Urshifu sprites yet whether it's Single Strike or, um, or Rapid Strikes, but by the fact it's a Rain team, I'm going to go ahead and say it's Rapid Strikes. Gastrodon looks incredible here. So does Rillaboom. I think what I'm going to do is lead off Rillaboom, because they don't have much counterplay for that. I'm going to lead off Rillaboom Arcanine. I'm going to bring Gastrodon in the back, and I think... I'm not too scared of, like... What, what, am, what am I not, what I'm not scared of? I'm not scared of... Um, you know, I completely forgot my train of thought. So I'm going to ask you guys the question of the day. By the way, leave a like if you haven't already. We're trying to shoot for 150 today. Uh, let me know... Do you guys, like, I, this is so crazy. I've met multiple people who, like, brush their teeth after, or before they eat breakfast, and I think that's disgusting. Are, do you, because it just doesn't make sense. Like, this is such a weird train of thought, but one of my buddies is like, yeah, I got up, ate, uh, I got up, brushed my teeth, ate breakfast, then left. I'm like, in that order? And he, I was, he was like, yeah, yeah, in that order. I'm like, that makes no sense, because you just got your teeth dirty. Just let me know if you guys do that, because uh, if you do, please switch. <laughs> please, please brush your teeth after you eat. It's counterproductive, man. Gotta brush your teeth twice at that point. Alright, let's get into it. So, Politoed and Kingdra. Now, they do have the option of going for a Hurricane here. And what I want to do is I want to bait that Hurricane. And I'm going to go hard into my Gastrodon here. I'm, I'm trying to stall out their, their G-Max. So I'm going to switch in my Gastrodon. Uh, absorb their pretty obvious water move. And uh, go for a Snarl. Because that should be pretty safe. I don't think they're going to target anything except for um, the Rillaboom. And Gastrodon's extremely special defensive, so... Should be able to take that pretty well. All I have to do is land the Snarl. And this is a relatively fast Arcanine. It's got a lot of uh, bulk on it as well. So, yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to knock out this Arcanine. Unless they have, like, Muddy Water and they don't Gigantamax or Dynamax. I'm pretty sure they're going to Dynamax here. Like, if versus that lead, there's no way you don't Dynamax and, like, go for... Uh, max airstream as they switch out into ludicolo okay good call by them good call by them but i'm gonna go ahead and get that off um and there we go get a storm drain boost gonna get my snarl off hopefully as we do manage to hit both of these pokemon now because gastron has the rindo berry i'm pretty safe to protect and go for another snarl here Or actually, um, they can't safely target into Gastron with a water move this turn, because that Kingdra will outspeed their own Ludicolo, likely. I still think it's my best interest to protect and go for another Snarl, though, just to minimize any damage I take here. I was kind of hoping they would burn their Dynamax already. And here they go, they're going to be using it on the Ludicolo. So by going for Protect here, Ludicolo at minus one will not be able to knock me out. There's no way they don't use it on Ludicolo, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm glad they used it on Ludicolo, because Ludicolo um, isn't as much of a threat to... Isn't as much of a threat to Rillaboom as um, Kingdra is. 
And they can't knock out Gash Run here at minus one while I use Protect and have a Rindo Berry. The Hurricane hopefully does not confuse me because I'd make this a lot harder. And we get confused. Please no. There's the Max Overgrowth. Rindo Berry goes off. Give me my second Snarl. I really need to land the second Snarl. That does... <laughs> that does a lot. Like, I know I know it's times four effective, but it does a lot more than I was hoping. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay, cool. We land the Snarl on both of these Pokemon, which is amazing, because now Ludicolo isn't nearly as much of a threat. And I think here I can pretty safely get in my... I can go for a Protect with this Arcanine, hopefully not hit myself in Confusion, and get in my um, Rillaboom, and then probably just Gigantamax. So we're going to get in Rillaboom on the Grass move, and we're going to go for a Protect here. Or actually, I could go for another Snarl. You know, I'm going to go for another Snarl. There's no way they don't... <laughs> There's no way they, they go for um, a Water-type move while I have the possibility of keeping my Gastrodon on the field. Hopefully they don't make that call. There's the Politoed. I get a Snarl off, hopefully. <laughs> a lot of this is hopefully, just because of that confusion. There's the Max Overgrowth into the Rillaboom. It shouldn't be doing much. It does similar damage to the Gastrodon while we protect it, which is kind of funny. Alright, come on, land the hit. There we go. There we go. Alright. He 100% is not going for a grass move while these two are on the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my KO. I'm going to go for that max uh, drum solo into this uh, Politoed. And it's definitely going to knock it out. And I can actually get in my Gastronom pretty safely here because there's no way to go for a grass move. They cannot risk this. That powerful 160 base power G-Max drum solo. Fun fact, Showdown doesn't have it uh, programmed correctly yet. Grassy Glide is supposed to turn into G-Max drum solo, but it hasn't been fixed yet. So it's still going to be doing, like, not nearly enough damage. I'm recording, right? Okay, cool, I'm recording. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> also, uh, no, no face cam today. My bad. I just felt gross, and I wanted to knock this recording out as soon as I could. But I have been uh, I have been getting on the weight loss uh, the weight loss grind lately. I think what I'll do is I'll update you guys just so you can hold me more accountable for my weight loss because I'm not like fat or anything, you know. But I definitely want to get more in shape. There's the helping hand. Tell me you went for a water move. Hailstorm. Okay. Well, that shouldn't do too much. I can definitely take the hit. Yeah. Okay. We're good. And he also just got rid of his rain, so his Kingdra is going to be slower. And so is his Ludicolo. And I think Ludicolo is in range where I could probably knock it out. Let's see this powerful move, man. Let's see this powerful move one-shot this thing. That's beautiful. I love that Miracle Seed damage. Take a bit of damage there. Going to heal about the same amount with this Grassy Terrain, though. And I'm hoping this Arcanine's faster than Kingdra without uh, Rain Up. Let me double check. Let me uh, let me check real quick. So Arcanine hits 159 speed because it's timid. Let me look at Kingdra's speed. Kingdra, level 50. Timid, 150. Okay, so we are going to be faster with Arcanine. Uh, what I should do here is I should go for a... Oh, we don't have Protect. We do not have Protect. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll just G-Max Drum Solo into this. <laughs> I hope I can take a Hurricane, man. I'm going to have to. I'm going to switch in the uh, Arcanine as well. Because he's going to go for a Grass move. I, he could just double into Rillaboom, but I don't think they're going to make that call. Not in Great Ball tier. Intimidate's not doing much, but I do have um, the ability to snarl and outspeed both of these mons now. Oh, and we're just faster. We're just faster. That's incredible. So it looks like they're running a modest nature, and I think we're jolly. 
Yeah, we're jolly, so we're outspeeding with 146. That means they're modest. Ice Boon does not knock me out. I think that's game. They have no way of winning. Because I can just spam Snarl here and go for another G-Max Drum Soul. Dang, Rillaboom is powerful. Rillaboom is straight up powerful. I love this Mon. Alright. We're all getting our, uh, our health restored here. Now we're not. <laughs> it looks so weird looking at Rillaboom from the side. It looks like two two green Cheetos playing the drums. Alright, um, I can just go for Heat Wave. I don't think they have a way of winning now. G-Max Drum Solo. Heat Wave. Because there's no way that this Ludicolo knocks me out with anything short of a critical hit. Look at Rillaboom go, dude. He's actually just vibing right now. He's actually just vibing. There we go. As he's the fire reducing barrier. I forget the name of that. I forget the name of that. Ooh, he takes it really well, actually. Alright, and that's gonna knock out this Ludicolo for sure. Beautiful. There's the drill run. Not quite going to knock me out, so that's going to be game. And I get my figgy berry. Or whatever berry we have equipped on this thing. <laughs> Mago berry. It's all the same now that you can change natures. In fact, I find it so funny that the optimal natures are now neutral natures. Because if you don't know, uh, when you eat a berry in this game, like you know how like figgy, mago, wiki... It depends on your nature whether or not you actually get um, confused. So basically, even if you use a nature mint, that just changes like the way your stats are affected. It doesn't actually change the nature. So let's say you were a adamant nature, which is a minus special attack. Um, even if you change your nature by going for or by using a modest mint, it still recognizes you as a minus special attack nature Pokemon when you eat the berry. So your Pokemon will get confused. Which I find absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's continue battling. So we get that win. Not too many points. Come on, let me into let me into Master Bolt here. This is a solid team. I like this. I like this team a lot. Alright. As we're facing Delil. Delil. Ooh, okay, this is threatening. They have some Terracot going on. So, uh, Terracod, Dracovish, this is just straight up Piper Offense, dude. This is straight up Piper Offense. I kind of want to bring Inteleon to this game, because it just feels right. We have to Safety Goggles and Didi so I could follow me whatever I need to and prevent the Terracot. I'm actually going to do that. I, I, safety Goggles and Didi tears up this team now that I think about it. Alright, never mind. Uh, we're going to lead off Rillaboom again, because they have no way of stopping that. Um, in the back here, I am going to want to bring... I'm going to say... I almost want to bring Inteleon, but Gastrodon is better. And I think my last Mon is probably going to be Arcanine. Yeah. That seems about right. So basically, by leading off the way I am right now, um, I'm assuming they're going to go with a Terracot lead because it could mess me up. But I can follow me away the beat up and go for a G-Max Drum Solo turn one. Amoongus is kind of an issue, but indeed he deals with it by A, follow me plus safety goggles, and B, um, expanding force. So... Oh wait, the only thing is this Ndidi is going to be slower than my Rillaboom, but I don't think I mind that too much. I don't really want the Grassy Terrain as much as I want to uh, be able to stop Terracot from tearing me up, you know? So I don't really mind losing the Grassy Terrain. All right, let's see what they lead off with. Whimsicott, Obstagoon. Now let me think. What does that? What does that even do? I mean, Obstagoon can either be Guts or Defiant, so I definitely don't want to switch in my. Um, I definitely don't want to switch in my boy, the uh, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, Arcanine. He's actually the legendary Pokemon, which is kind of funny. 
if you didn't know. Actually, did I bring Arcanine? I already forgot. I have a terrible memory, if you don't know. No, I brought Arcanine. So what I'll do here, actually, is... I should be able to protect pretty safely. Do I want a drum solo yet? I think I might U-turn. No, that makes no sense. I thought we had Max Knuckle for some reason. Um... I, I think we can max right now and two-shot this Obstagoon. I'm concerned about Obstagoon. The rest of the team is pretty inconsequential, to be honest. So I'm willing to Dynamax to deal as much damage as I can to this Obstagoon. Because Grassy Glide isn't going to cut it. I just realized that he lives in his drum set. Like, his lower half is the drum set, and that's kind of funny. There's the Obstruct. Uh, we'll be able to actually deal some damage, though. Like, it's going to protect him, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. Because next turn, I think we still KO. Unless they Dynamax, which is an issue. Get my G-Max Drum Solo off. It's going to do, like, probably 10%. Meh, 20. But I think... Ooh, as he gets the Flame... I was kind of hoping he'd be Defiant, but that's actually better for me. I can switch in my Arcanine pretty safely here. Get him to neutral, go for another G-Max Drum Solo. And they don't really have any switches for that, except possibly Amoongus. And I'm not too concerned about Amoongus coming in, because I can just get back in my, um, back in my Ndidi. Facade's going to hurt, though, because he's probably going for... I mean, if he goes for Knockoff into, into Arcanine, that's going to hurt, but... Because there was, I think he's going to go for knockoff because there was an NDD in there at one point. There's the helping hand. Let's see what he goes for. Maybe facade into this Rillaboom. Yep. Does a little under half, which is nice for me because I should be able to knock it out. Nice. That does crazy damage, dude. Let's get the critical hit. Ooh, you know what's an issue, though? You know what's an issue? If they switch in their... If they switch in the Terrakion here, yeah, that's the issue. So, Terrakion is scary, uh, because I can't follow me away the attack. How do I deal with this? I might have lost, because they, they forced in the Arcanine there. I think my only out is going for a Will-O-Wisp into Terrakion and G-Max drum soloing, hoping that they... I'm hoping that they Dynamax <laughs> and not go for Rock Slide, because Rock Slide's going to hurt. And I still have Expanding Force, so that's always something. Alright, there it is. So they can only target one of my Pokemon right now. Maybe I should have switched out into Whimsicott so I would have Grassy Glide. Yeah, I suppose it would have made more sense to switch out into Whimsicott, or switch out into um, Gastrodon. Go for will o -Wisp, since they're probably going to target down my... Um, they're probably going to target down the Rillaboom here. And that would have allowed me to get in Rillaboom later on and go for Grassy Glide for a KO. They only get plus three. Let's see if Max Knuckle KOs. It does. Now, now they're at plus four, but they have to choose who they want to knock out now. Let me think. How do I escape this? I need to have landed this Will-O-Wisp if I want to win. Alright, there's the Will-O-Wisp. Tell me you're not Lumberry. Alright, cool. They're Lumberry. So, I would really like it if I could get in Gastrodon and Ndidi at the same time, but that's going to be really difficult. Hmm. Let me think. I'll get in Gastrodon here. This might be a lost game. 
I kind of need to sack Arcanine. Or do I protect? Alright, I'm going to get it in, in DD hard, assuming that they want to target down Gastrodon with a move. Or actually, no, that doesn't make sense. I just have to protect Gastrodon and hope that this works out. Because I'm thinking they're going to prioritize knocking out this Arcanine or something. Is the Max Rock fall into the Arcanine slot? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to get an Ndidi. Alright, Wimscout loses its Sash. Terrakion's still effectively at plus two, which could knock out my, um, my Ndidi here. And I think I only have, like, one more turn of Expanding Force. Hmm. I think this is game. I'm just gonna Expanding Force and go for, like, Earth Power. <laughs> yeah, that's probably game. Let's see if they knock out Gastrodon. That would be, like, the best case scenario. Max Knuckle. Okay, so Gastrodon's gone. I need to crit this expanding force. And not not like just kinda crit, I need to crit hard, dude. Like most damage I can get off a of crit. Alright, well that didn't do it. Um, let me think. I, I kinda need them to choke now. If they go for Rock Slide and Whiff, that's my only out. Cause their Dynamax ends. Yeah, my only out is them going for Rock Slide over Close Combat for some reason. So let's Expanding Force here. And hope that that manages to KO. There's the Taunt. I don't know why you would do that. Probably just trying to avoid Protect late game. They go for the rock slide? Oh. That's gonna do a lot, but they didn't knock me out, which that's that's a huge misplay on their part. Come on, KO. <sighs> oh, you know what? I understand that taunt now. I understand that taunt. Come on, KO. K yes! Okay. We're still in this. It's just not looking great. Um, I think I take the least damage from <laughs> from Whimsicott. I, I just have to hope that whatever's in the back isn't great versus me. It's a Moongus. Okay. So, here's what I have to hope for. That this that this Whimsicott just doesn't KO me, and that I crit this Amoongus. <laughs> I just have to hope that the Whimsicott has, like, no moves to attack with. Alright, it, it did. So, I think maybe if I attack the Whimsicott, I had a chance. That they Tailwind? What? Dude, I don't think this Whimsicott has any attack moves. What is it? Helping Hand, Tailwind, Beat Up? Beat Up's not gonna KO me. I know that. I don't know how fast this uh, Amoongus just became, but I'm safety goggles, so it shouldn't make a difference. Dude, if they threw this game, I'm going to be so happy. I think I have to target into Whimsicott, because it probably has the most chance of KOing me. Dude, imagine if I targeted Whimsicott that last turn. Yeah, its only offensive move is beat up, and that's doing nothing. Tell me you went for Spore. Tell me you just went for Spore, because then I have a chance. And then I'm faster. Bro, I gotta crit this expanding force. I gotta crit this expanding force if I want to win right now. Alright. Because they probably have Sludge Bomb. I need that to be like zero special attack Amoongus to win. And for them not to, um... Or maybe they're Clear Smog. I just need to two-shot it and survive this. If I survive this turn, I win. Oh, that did nothing. There's Pollen Puff. Oh, that's so annoying. Because they played that endgame so bad. Oh, well. Oh, well. It is what it is. We'll get one more match for today. 
they played that endgame so terribly. Because they knew I was... They, they should have known that I was safety goggles. Granted, I, I will make that mistake from time to time. I will make that mistake from time to time. Um, but they should have known that I was safety goggles because I took zero damage from the sandstorm. I want to look at that Whimsic Hot Set. What's its last move? Protect... Oh, I thought that said Surf for a minute. I'm like, I don't think that's a move it learns. Mega Horn, Sacred Sword, Smart Strike. Wait, do they have close combat? They don't have close combat. And they don't have a poison move. What? If they were a regular Whimsicott, I had a chance to... Or not Whimsicott. If they were like a normal Amoongus set, I had a chance to win there. Alright. What's that Whimsicott? The Whimsicott has no attacks that actually deal damage. Oh, wait. We should have known. Taunt. That's what I mean. I have a terrible memory. Ow, my ranking, my Great Ball ranking. I'll probably ladder a bit off camera just to reach uh, Master Ball. I might do a live stream this weekend, in fact, to reach Master Ball. Just so I don't have to do it <laughs> during my actual laddering series. Alright. As we're facing... What? Okay. Um. It seems they have Licky Licky. I want to say this is a Trick Room team, but it's not. It's like not... Um, they kind of get torn up by Arcanine on the lead. Actually, crit, they have nothing that wants to take a crit Teleon hit. We're going to go for the crit Teleon win. This might backfire, like, terribly, but we'll go for it. I think my last mon's going to have to be, like, Tyranitar. I want to I wanna try to get a crit Teleon win. I want to see that scope lens kick in, dude. But yeah, that last team was pretty strange. That was a pretty strange team. My my um, main mistake was... Well, actually, no. Because I... Yeah, yeah, I guess my main mistake was letting the Terrakion get in while I didn't have redirection. Alright, Ruben. Luxray and Togekiss, okay. So they do have the redirection option, however, so do I. And I don't think they can one-shot me. I think they're going to go for, like, follow me or something. I mean, here, let me think. They should be scared of expanding force a bit, but I think they're most likely just going to want to go for the Centaleon KO. And I'm pretty certain Ndidi can take one hit from Luxray, so let me let me follow me here. And I'm going to go for this Focus Energy. And then I can start KOing things with uh, G-Max Hydro Snipe. Because this move does crazy damage. Like, insane amounts of damage. 160 base power always crits. As they Dynamax, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be, man? Alright. There's Luxray. Dynamaxed up. If Indeedy survives this turn, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real happy. Focus energy. There's the dazzling gleam. Gonna take a bit of damage. Indeedy's probably going down. Oh wow, that did so much. Alright, let me think here. Um, I can likely get in the Tyranitar pretty safely. Did they give Luxray close combat? I have to check. Because everything got close combat. Are you Flame Orb? No, you're Life Orb. It did not get close combat. Do you have fighting coverage at all? Because if you don't, it has superpower. Uh, I'll get in Arcanine, just because it's safer. Actually, weakness policy, Tyranitar doesn't seem bad. I can just go for Rock Slide. Because I think I just KO this, um... I think I just KO this Luxray. Hopefully I don't have redirection. What I'm trying to do here by saying Tyranitar is, like, incentivizing them to KO it. Maybe I should just Rock Slide and Snipe Shot for damage on the Luxray. 
Or do I go for the Inteleon one? Who do they have in the back? I think it's better to keep Inteleon. Just judging by the rest of their team. So I'll Rock Slide here hoping that they Dazzling Gleam. And not go for Redirection. And I'll go for that powerful G-Max Hydra Snipe into the Luxray. I mean, we're, we're pretty low ladder. We have no idea if they actually have Redirection. Like... Standard Togekiss, Togekiss that you tend to see high ladder, has redirection. We have no idea about this one, and that's a hilarious... That, that's, that's just hilarious. That's a hilarious animation. Alright. They do not follow me. Give me this KO. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. There's the Dazzling Gleam. They're going to give me my weakness policy as both my Mons survive. So if I land this Rock Slide, that's a dead Togetic. Or Togekiss. Get him, dude. Get him. <laughs> I kind of wish they had a Gastrodon so I could just defy laws and just knock it out with a water move. By the way, the animation when Intellion gets hit by a max move while it's uh, Gigantamax is hilarious. Like, the tower tilts. There's the Crooked Isle. Or as I call it, Free KO. Oh yeah, we're good. I just have to keep uh, Arcana in the back and we win. I'm a little bit concerned about Ferrothorn knocking out the um, Intellion here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a Superpower into Ferrothorn and Hydra Snipe into this Crocodile, because if, um, if Ferrothorn survives, basically, like, if Crocodile protects here, it might live the hit. I don't think it will, because this is such a strong move, but if Crocodile protects here and Ferrothorn knocks out my Inteleon, I have a legitimate chance of losing, but Crocodile does not protect him. We get another Hydra Snipe off. Just destroying that thing. Oh my god, I love that move. And the superpower should KO at plus two. Nice. And Iron Barbs. Dude, Crit Teleon, though? Crit Teleon's kind of nasty. It, it's kind of nasty, and I really like this team. This is, a, this is a solid team. Thank you so much for sharing this team with me, Patrick. I really appreciate it. If you guys want your teams featured, you can DM me on Twitter. Uh, whenever I don't have like a new team I have to use, I'll definitely use some of yours. But once again, the code for this team will be in the, in the um, description down below. The Poke Paste will be in the description down below. Uh, be sure to join the Discord, which is also in the description down below. And check out my merch. I, I've been selling a lot of these uh, Max Rockfall t-shirts recently. They've been kind of popping off on Twitter. A lot of people like them. You can just scroll down in the video to check them out. They're like just below it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you. I uh, can't wait to see you in the next video. Boost to the top. Have a nice night. And yeah, see you.